it would be a very common situation for me to be recording keyboards for a band or contributing like synths or something and I would prefer to do that here and sometimes it's just me and uh, the synthesizers which means that I have uh, to just press record and just <laughs> pray that I'll reach the piano before uh, I miss my cue or something like that. My name is Magnus Johan and uh, I'm a pianist uh, and composer. I produce a lot of pop music and hip-hop and then I compose uh, music for films and theatre and I also compose music for myself, for my own releases and work a little bit in the jazz realm and uh, maybe a little bit in the electronic realm as well and do all kinds of stuff with all kinds of uh, musicians and uh, instruments. I tend to involve keyboards of some kind in most of the things I'm involved with, whether I'm producing records or composing myself or for other people. So, And I'm also a big fan of old analog stuff. I just like the sound of it and it inspires me to play uh, inspiring instruments. So that's why I have an old Hammond organ, an old uh, Japanese upright piano, a Fender Rhodes, a, an old Mini Moog and a couple of uh, old and new synths because that's just kind of what I like, what I prefer in my workflow and uh, I record a lot of audio and mess with the audio it's like recording piano and then totally reversing that and making it uh, sound like a synthesizer or, or something. Some, a common denominator for most of my workflow would be would involve some sort of experimentation here with uh, the instruments that I have available rather than working with a lot of soft synths even though I actually I do that as well but I'm better at the old uh, broken stuff that's always causing trouble. Now I've powered on the, the wave and uh, what I'm going to do today is uh, I'm going to use it as a remote controller uh, to record a few instruments. But uh, what I uh, have programmed the ring to do is to uh, do a few simple commands. So when I press the middle it starts uh, and when I hold it in I press record for that particular track and then I can jump between the different tracks by pressing up and down and uh, what I'm gonna try and do now is uh, do some sort of feature that allows me to undo so now I'm assigning the undo function to the down button as a long press I just press the key and then I press what button it's supposed to be so now I can long press the down button and then it undid whatever it is that I did the last time around. So very quick and easy. would be a very common situation for me to be recording keyboards for a band or contributing like synths or something and I would prefer to do that here and sometimes it's just me and uh, the synthesizers. I've done that for a couple of years now that I've been recording myself on my own which means that I have uh, to just press record and just pray that I'll reach the piano before uh, I miss my cue or something like that. So having something as the Genki Ring, even if I'm only using really simple functions like record, stop, play, uh, and undo, it means that I can just like kind of gain states, for example, the organ, and then I can just 
decide where I'm gonna bounce in and I can take my time to sit down at the organ, adjust my headphones, get comfortable and then pl press play. And even though that's uh, pretty rudimentary uh, for when you're recording in the studio, it's definitely not rudimentary when you're trying to get things done fast and totally on your own. So that really helps me and I can just press record. If the take's not good, I can just undo it and I can do it again. And I can save myself like four trips back and forth from the organ or the piano to the computer and again and again and again. So that's really convenient. For me, the primary function of the ring would be like a remote controller. That's really useful for me. When I first got the ring, I thought it would be more complicated to connect it to my computer, but that was definitely not the case. Uh, even though I have a lot of buttons to press here in the studio, I'm definitely not the most tech-savvy person. Hence maybe all of the old analog synthesizers with big knobs that have the names of their functions below. But uh, so for me, it was really pleasant to connect the ring and it just integrated really easily by it's really just a few clicks. And then I could start recording with it and using it as a remote. As a controller for various functions on a keyboard or a synth or something, it, uh, I think the most interesting part for me in terms of that would be to apply some sort of movement to some random element or something unexpected. I mean, you can achieve something really interesting even if it's just something as simple as manipulating the cutoff with shaking your hand or moving it up and down. But it offers also a lot of different possibilities for random aspects or giving you inspiration or something new as a tool for inspiration, like trying to put it, uh, uh, putting uh, the vibrato function to a random CC and just seeing what happens and maybe that gives you results that you wouldn't have gotten without it. Um, so now I'm gonna add some movement to the Prophet uh, synthesizer. Um, I'm going to put it to uh, vibrato mode and uh, CC1, which means that the vibrato or how I move the ring like this will affect the filter cutoff. And it's as easy as that. I seek inspiration from all kinds of places, from other art, from films, books, uh, paintings, conversations with inspirational people and of course from music. I listen to a lot of different genres but uh, if I'd have to name a few names I guess uh, Ryuichi Sakamoto is a big uh, influence uh, for me and D'Angelo as well. Um, I mean, Igor Stravinsky, Icelandic pianist David Thor. A lot of my friends inspire me a lot. So I'm uh, very um, privileged to be surrounded by so many amazing Icelandic musicians. The song I composed here is actually a pretty old song I wrote for a project that never got released. So uh, I, I came up with this like piano hook or melody, which was basically two chords a while ago. And then I wrote 
a kind of like a pre-chorus and, and a chorus. Took a little drum loop and put it through my Space Echo and uh, tried to record a few different instruments and see if I could make something of it. The song that we produced is not maybe quite typical of the songs that I would release under my own name, but uh, it's kind of uh, a style that I like to produce for other people and uh, I've written a lot of pop songs in, the sim in a similar genre, so uh, it was quite fun to use the ring for that.